As we close out, one of our traditions in the summer is we give the players a questionnaire with some fun questions. This will be a little more fun. Good way to end us. Um, and one of the questions we asked, uh, by the way, I'm going to interrupt myself. One of the questions we asked was uh, about which uh, actor would play their head coach in a movie. Last night I was at West and I was talking with Coach Woodard, and I said, I assume you saw, and he goes, oh, yeah, I saw. He said, that's all anybody's talking about, you know, because uh, his his kids uh, said Will Ferrell. <laughs> and I, I said, look, we can't all be Brad Pitt, you know. I mean, so uh, my question to y'all is, we asked the kids who, besides your, your own team, in Central Texas has the coolest uniforms and china spring was like far and away the pick my question is who would you say and i'm starting with dj because as she pointed out only six years removed from high school <laughs> she's in more in touch with their thinking <laughs> and probably has better fashion sense than either of us anyway. <laughs> um well my high school colors were navy and burnt orange and I thought we had some pretty nice uniforms. Like you had the navy with the white numbers and some orange and white stripes on the shoulders and uh, the inverse of that with the white jerseys and the navy numbers. And although we lost a lot of games, at least we <laughs> looked good. <laughs> you look um, good losing. Yeah. Um, we did make it to playoffs my last two years, but after that, it's been not great. Um, so who's your pick? I re okay, I agree with China Spring because I just think, you know, that shade of blue specifically, everybody kind of goes crazy over no matter where, like what sport you're playing. I mean, when the when the Liberty baseball uniforms came out and they they obviously did the whole bit with the Celine Dion song, but like this the the uniforms were nice and mm. um I don't know that that shade I blue is my favorite color. So I really like those uniforms. But I gotta say, like Teague has some nice jerseys. Like when we were at photo day and they kind of showed up, I don't think that I really saw anybody with like that kind of jersey where it's just like this really vivid orange and, you know, you can tell they, the numbers clearly. They in stand white. out in that orange. Yeah. Orange is kind of an underutilized, a lot of people wear blue mm -hmm. uh, and black and stuff. But yeah, orange is one of those that's I, I do like a nice black jersey like a very crisp black jersey but you have to work with the other colors well like i mm. thought blum was really cool because like they came out with this like neon green and um you know obviously yeah, i would call that yellow neon yeah. yellow. Uh, there's a lot yeah, of dispute over that but <laughs> <laughs> men and women see colors different all right they we don't have much nice time stuff. i want i want to get your thought chad what do, what do you say well i'm obviously partial to red and black and i think uh i think lorena you know, with the, they, they have that matte black helmet, too, with the LL on it, you know, or no, no, they have a, a cat on there. They have a cat on there. So I, I, I'm going to go ahead and, and go with them with because of the red and black. But like you said, it's that uh, powder blue, Columbia blue, Carolina blue, whatever you want to call it. That's easy to like. It is easy to Silver like. Blue. It takes me back to uh, the Houston Oiler days. Uh, and uh, I also was born in North Carolina. And so I've always had a little bit of a Tar Heel kind of thing. Um, and so, yeah, I do like the powder blue, Carolina blue, Columbia blue. Uh, I will say, I'm not even sure I really noticed it on photo day, but I just noticed it today in some pictures that um, Waco High showed up in black uniforms this year. And um, and normally, you know, Waco High is known for that, that bright red, um, but... It looked pretty cool. I mean, uh, obviously, black and red has done a lot. We know we we see it with West. We see it with Lorena, but uh, I don't know. I like I liked Waco's look with that black jersey. You know, when the at photo day, the Lorena kids and the Mejia kids were sitting there together, and I was like, "You guys could be playing in the Texas Tech red black scrimmage." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because they were both Under Armour too. You know? Okay, okay. My thing yeah. with black and red is you've got to get the number right because if you're wearing a black jersey with a red number and it doesn't have a white outline, you can't see those numbers, especially from the press box. And I hate that. <laughs> Amen, um, sister. Amen. You know, there are actually some UIL 
uh, rules on some of that, though I know teams have tried to skirt those rules over the years. I hate dark on dark. I mean, that's mm. that's really hard to read, as you said, especially with no outline. So anyway. All right. Well, that's our fashion corner for today. <laughs>